Well, what's up YouTube? It's Dazoo here for uh, this Team Hitakiri channel. And I decided that uh, I sh I'm going to put up a deck profile video. It's been a long time since I've done one. Over a year. And uh, I think it's time I should do another one. Because uh, I, I actually started like getting back into the game um, pretty seriously. Finally have some extra time to actually start playing again so I thought I'd make a profile on one of my decks um, currently playing bird males fire fists and dino rabbit um, I like all three of the decks they're all really cool they're all their little things and definitely say mermel is by far the best deck it's it's really good um, but I still like I still like dino rabbit a lot I mean it's not the best but it definitely can go toe to toe with all the decks and it could do some work, and I just love the playstyle of it. I mean, it's what I played a while back, uh, not last format, the format before last year's uh, March ban list, and I played it under that September one too, the year prior, after I played uh, Plants. That's when I first got into the game seriously, but I digress. Um, anyways, so let's go ahead and pull this out. This is, this is the Dino Rabbit one. out alrighty yeah I still love this deck a lot it's still really cool I like the cards it can play uh, like I said before I like the play style it's just like what I like to do I like to kind of control while ne like negating stuff and um, I love a lot of spell and trap support and I love the sideboard for this and um, macrocosmos is, is an amazing card but let's get right down to the deck all right definitely uh, you're gonna be playing of course <laughs> do rescue rabbits because uh, you semi-limited now. Or did, did they semi-limit him last list? I don't remember. Like I said, I didn't play at all last format. I was way too busy with work and school to to do any Yu-Gi-Oh's. But finally want to get back into it, so thumbs up. Um, anyways, yeah, Rescue Rabbit. And you can notice that they are in Deutsch, German. Yes. Um, now that I've been getting back into it, I've also been getting into like the foreign market. So anyone watching... Uh, if you guys are if you guys are interested in bar buying, trading, you know, or selling foreign cards, I'm totally down to do that. I'm in the market for that now. I love getting foreign cards now. I have a lot of them actually. Um, most of this deck is actually in German, which is nice. But if there's a uh, German cards or versions of Exceeds and stuff you guys have, definitely let me know. I'd like to get them, trade them, whatever. Uh, so yeah, two Rusky Rabbits, my favorites. Probably like my favorite Yu-Gi-Oh card that they've made in a long time. Underneath Tur Guide, uh, we got Drac Guaiba. This guy's a Bamf. Uh, he was really powerful when the deck first came out, and then uh, again they uh, when that Insector wind up era, this guy was really devastating because those those decks were like really little dudes. So this this guy would just kick the shit out of him. But then after that, you know, when like Chaos Dragons and all that crap started coming out, all the big stuff, he just was garbage, a <laughs> waste of time. Uh, but now. Now I see that all the top are like all the top decks. They have a lot of weak guys. Definitely a lot of weak guys, and they need a lot of you know the weak guys start all out of the combos. So like Fiendish Chain is such a good card now. So Fiendish Chain like little dudes you know, like Abyss Spikes or fucking Divas and Bears and whatever Temperance that little fucking Harry Potter kid <laughs> just like. And then just get in there with Guaiba. That's pretty cool. He's a good card. And he baits out a lot of shit. It's good. Um, but he's like the main way to get out your laggy and Dolka. And then what's Dino Rabbit without your vanillas, your Barneys, and your freaking ravaging red saber sources? <laughs> yeah, the vanillas. They're always funny. Poor Cabazels, though. He's getting a little weak. All these uh, Care Bears on the fucking Heliotrope. Fuck that. I would n I'll never switch to that deck, dude. I like Loggy and Dulka way too much. Make it, I like making that guy way more. Okay, um, Thunder King, of course. I believe, yeah, he's semi limited now, which is a whatever. Uh, people were really playing two before, anyways. It's like a soft, it's like a soft fucking, you know. Putting it at two. Um, it's like bottomless at two, kind of. I mean, I would like to play three, 
but I can't. But still, two is good. Um, but yeah, he's good because every deck searches out, like every top deck searches out cards, so it's good to have him there. You don't really need the other ability at all. It's just to stop searching. Um, of course, you got tour guides because you're gonna get Levier and do the same old, old classic Dino Rabbit play. Um, also got these dudes, Germans, Ooh, beauties. Um, I've actually got more of them too. If people are interested in them, these are uh, my favorite. But yeah, I don't want to play like Night of Sailor or any of the other dudes because it's whatever. It's not a big deal. If they want a Valor that, by all means, go ahead. I'd rather not get my other guys Valor than the Winter Rabbit. Um, and it's very, it's a pretty offensive monster lineup right there. So throwing in the one Spear Reaper. I like it because he's a, he's a very defensive card and he does a lot of work. And when macro is out, you can get pretty aggressive when you're controlling and just start like removing shit out of their hand. And it's pretty annoying. People drop Baylor's on this guy because he's fucking devastating. People lance him and whatever because he's annoying as hell. And he's good. He's a he's a floater level three. Love it. It's like a lot of the extra uh, side deck cards. Uh, spells we got triple mystical space. I mean, as long as it's cards at three, just play three. It's too good. People play a lot of fucking cards. A lot of traps, a lot of spells, you know, people side into a lot of annoying things, like you, know, you got your Royal Decree, you got Messenger of Peace, you got Imperial Iron Wall, a lot of your little Care Bear cards, and um, it's good to just blow up those for sure ones, especially like Imperial Iron Wall, because it kills your macro engine sometimes, but it stops your tankies and all that bullshit, so it's a good card. I like MST at 3, it's fun. Um... Triple Lance, great. Uh, it has its moments where it could be a little annoying or not as useful. Um, I like two, but I also like three. Because there's times you're just like, ah, fuck, I wish I had more protection. And then there's times you just feel, oh, man, there's just too many. I have two Lances. Like, ah, I wish it was another. I wish it was a trap or something. But you can't get the best of both worlds. <laughs> the three is better because Guaiba's got to go off. You want to protect Laogi and Dolka. You got to fucking beat those Fire Fisters. You got to... Get over some Abyss Megalos and all that nonsense. Leads, the big eyes, all that bullshit. And uh, Abyss Guy OC is big. And, um, it's nice because like everyone else is playing Lance, so having three gives you the advantage if they're not playing three because you have the extra one. And um, it's good like going into deep chains and activating Lances and stuff. It's, it's really cool. Uh, and we got Book of Moon. Uh, it's probably my favorite spell card still in Yu-Gi-Oh! This looks like it's a good card. It stops stops everything. This really does stop everything. Uh, we got Schwarzes Lock, Dark Hole, Deutsch, and then the Schwere Sturm, also German, and Monster Reborn. <laughs> I was I wanted to get a German one of these, but I couldn't find one. So, but standard like power cards. Okay, the traps. Triple Fiendish Chain. This card is so rugged right now. Um, it does so much work. Uh, I like this better than the Hand Traps. Not only because I'm playing macro, but just because for the fact I want to stop monsters from attacking me. Negating the effect is ju it's just an added bonus. Like, shit. And it sets up Guaiba on the little dudes, on the combo cards. But stopping the attack is what's very important because everything is so aggressive and there's a lot of OTK openings. Excuse me for a lot of uh, a lot of things. So this is really good to to say no, <laughs> not today. Uh, double bottomless, um, psych with Thunder King. It's just, it's just they just gotta be there, dude. Bottomless is too good, especially when you don't have your ignition. Your summon fucking priority effects. Bottomless is just too strong, and it's good against Dino Rabbit or any Rabbit versions with you know you blow up their two dudes. Unless you uh, rabbit it in the spirit of the heart like a badass. Um, I'll do a de deck profile on something like that in a little while. Uh, two D prisons, powerful. Um, three, th I think three is really good too, but now that Mirror Force is at two, dude, I'd rather just play two Mirror Force. Like, fuck, there's a lot of OTK cards, and Starlight Road is like diminishing in you know, certain decks, so it's like, oh shit, I'll just, I'll just play my Mirror Forces. <laughs> it gets rid of a lot of guys. Um, and what is Dino Rabbit without Macrocosmos now? It's just too strong against everything. Got these in German too. They're pretty cool. Um, macro. It's like the best trap in the world. <laughs> Double Mirror Force, of course. Um, it's like I said, it's it's too good. I mean, fuck. Way too good. 
We have Strasse Zoom Stain and Licht. Starlight Road. Powerful card. A lot of destruction going on. Uh, the one Rogue Compulse. It's pretty good. Has its moments when it's crap, but it has its moments when it's really good. I've got Foyerlicious Urteil and Anstavanung. The Solemn Duo. Both in Deutsch. Fun times. And then I just wanted to uh, throw this in for fun, and it's pretty good. Seven Tools of the Bandit. Catches people really off guard. They don't, they're like, uh, what? <laughs> I like stopping the judgments with it. People play, some decks play Dark Bribe. Uh, Abyss Fear, Abyss Squall, fucking Abyss Squall. Cards are pain in the ass, you know. Um, extra deck is pretty standard, straightforward, etc., etc. I think I have a side deck in there too, but, uh, Extra as it got, we got Stardust Dragon. He's got him playing Starlight Roads. So I might as well have him in there. Gem Knight Pearl. He's boss. He helps out. Get over a lot of cards. Him with a lance is, uh, is unbeatable, pretty much. Uh, Utopia Ray. I still like the card a lot. I mean, I don't want to not play him. He's really cool. Because I'm always going to be playing Utopia. This is like my favorite of the like, Exceeds that when they first came out. Then the first like generation. Um. Laugi is the best. <laughs> They're too good. They're too good. And we got one baby Doka. Um, I was playing two, but I dropped one of them for the, the Gaga got Cowboy. Cowboy has his moments. Um, but I might just drop something now. I might drop like either Papler Operative or Still Storm Roach. They both have their moments too. But I mean, it's just more added utility kind of thing. Uh, My Stroke is strong. He's so good. Um, Bist Dweller. It's pretty cool too. And there's the Gaga Cowboy. Um, Leviathan, of course. I like him way more than Acid Golem. Levier, uh, he's just the best seed in Yu Gi Oh! And then Zen Mains, he's also an annoying bastard. Uh, yeah, I believe there's a side deck in here, or the start of one. Because I'm going to start like playing a lot more and. Hopefully, when regionals come up, I get to go, get some time off from work. Um, we got Fossil Dyna Pack of Cephalos. Always, always goody, goody goodies for this deck. It's great. It's good to stun, especially when you're controlling with Lagias and Thunder King and shit. He's just annoying. Uh, Banisher. I mean, it's a macro deck, dude. Banisher the Radiance is just way too useful. Um, does so much work, <laughs> and he's a level three. He does you know, he floats for you? He's good. You got your little fucking creatures, snowman eaters. They're funny. Nineteen hundred level threes, blowing crap up. Blah blah blah. They're good. Uh, I love this card so much. You know, people play two soul taker. I play fucking prohibition. This card's so good. If you know exactly what you're fighting against, you know what cards to call. They just get devastated, man. It's so good. And then one soul taker. It's a good card. It has its moments. A third macro. Just in case. I was got a main deck three, but then I was just like, yeah. Some decks is pretty useless against. And if I ever had to play the mirror, it's completely useless. I'd rather have a Monster Reborn in my deck. So I wasn't going to play Monster Reborn if I had three macros. kind of useless at that point. But I was just like, Monster Reborn is way too good to not play. So I said, fuck it. I'll just be a little more versatile with two macros and a Reborn inside this one. So. And we've got... As of the time being, two dust tornadoes. Might just stick with one, but man, it's so good. Like blowing up back rows. Just, ah, I love it. I love the card. I love dust tornadoes so much. And then I've got triple mind crush. Dude, this is like the best card ever at three. It's retarded. It's like having fucking three trap dust shoots. <laughs> oh my gosh. Every deck searches out and you can just destroy them, you know? With Mind Crush plays, it's so good. I mean, especially against Mermills. I'm like, gosh. I love playing this card in Mermills. Against the Mirror Match when you're playing Mermills as Mermill. Like, this this and Abyss Lead are the best. Like, you hit their Tiuses and their fucking uh, Goondies. They're just like, ah. <laughs> it's so fun. Oh, Mind Crush is comedy. And I think that's 14. So I guess the 15th card would be, like, overworked. It's a, I've heard that's, like, a pretty hype card. Destroys monsters. Whose attacks are different than an original, so that's pretty cool. It's good against Fire Fisters. But yeah, that's the deck. Side extra, whatever, main deck, and whatever, and all that stuff. So, yeah, let me know what you think of it, and blah, blah, blah. So, I guess I'm going to get back into Yu Gi Oh! now, right? Peace.